Hi there students. In this video I wanted to look at the verbs to doff and to don and their opposites. OK, um, these are both verbs. Let's see, today I think you would only use this phrase to doff, talking about to raise your hat, to remove your hat in, in greeting or to show respect. So, um, the uh, worker doffed his cap when the boss came in. Yeah, um, to doff your cap, to uh, raise your hat as a greeting or a token of expect, uh, respect. When the ladies came into the room, he doffed his hat. He did this. You can also use to, to doff, but this is much more unusual, meaning to take off. So he doffed his coat and put it on the sofa. And then the opposite of to doff is to don, to put on a piece of clothing. He donned his coat, he donned his hat, to put something on. OK, so um, don your coat because we're going out and it's really cold outside. Yeah, remove a clo an article of clothing to doff, to take off. Yeah, um, do doff your clothes and put them over there. Yeah, it's time to don your don your don your shoes and uh, come with me. Um, let's see. I think don as put on is probably more common, and I think doff only in this idea we would only normally use it in to remove your hat. I guess you could use it in doff your clothes as well. Now, I quite like the origin of these two words as well, um, because effectively they come from, if you look at it, d off and d on, yeah? Um, effectively, so it's a, these are a mixture of do and on and do and off, to don, to put on, and to doff, to take off, and that, that's how, how, how they're used. Um, Let's see. As to formality, to doff his ha he doffed his cap. I'm going to give it a six in formality. It sounds rather literary as well. Um, you should always doff your cap, your hat, when a lady comes in, uh, uh, when a lady appears. Um, so I would say rather literary and rather formal. To don. Six informality again. I wouldn't. I, I don't think I would use either of these words informally. Both of them semi-formal conversation, semi-formal or formal writing. I think both a bit old-fashioned and both rather literary as well. Okay, so to doff your cap, to take off your cap, to tip your hat, to doff your coat, to take off your coat, to don your clothes, to put on your clothes. He donned, he donned his coat and went out into the rain. Um, and then, as I said, both rather literary, rather maybe a bit, uh, a bit formal in uh, as words as well. Um, I guess you could also use doff to mean to. Uh, get rid of something, to throw it away. Let's doff that idea. It's rather stupid. Let's doff that suggestion. I think that's pretty unusual, though. OK, so to doff and to don. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. To doff and to don.